Hi Sagittarius, I'm a sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius, and this reading covers love, money, relationships, your activities, your hobbies. The cards tell the story, so let's get a sense of the energies and messages that can help you plan for the month. Um, if you find this reading helpful, then subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my free daily, weekly, or monthly tarot videos. Okay, so let's get started with your reading, Sagittarius. And I'm using a Celtic cross, and then we'll pull some oracle cards at the end. What messages? Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Star, Major Arcana. So interesting, we have... It's a great illustration here with this nine of wands. And we see the man here wearing his bandana. He looks tired. He looks scraped up. He's leaning on the wand for support. And he is ready, ready for what's happening, ready for what's coming along. Uh, he may have been having to protect himself, defend himself, to mix it up a bit. And it can be exhausting, it can be tiring, but nevertheless, he's still standing. And this is a tale of being um, persistent, to show perseverance, to have grit, to be tenacious, to you know defend what you need to defend. You could be protecting yourself, you could be protecting your business interests, your relationship, your family. This Nine of Wands, very close to to the end. And so, you know, it's a matter of hanging in there, no matter how tired you may be or exhausted or stressed out, you are, um, you know, you are standing and you're watching and you're going to be ready to handle whatever comes your way. So this overseeing and being in charge of here, or, you know, coping with possible adversity or challenges, willing to do what it takes. Here we have the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups, we see the hands here holding hands, the beautiful home, the cups in the sky. And this goes to really finding happiness, finding joy with your family. However you define family, your family at home, what you look forward to or who you look forward to seeing after a long day of working, after a long day of battling perhaps, of going home and finding peace and finding love and joy and delight from family, from community, from uh, everything that you have and then being grateful for your blessings. So the Ten of Cups is really quite a card. It's about... If you are hoping to build a beautiful family and have a loving family and have um, all of the joy that comes from that, this is that card. And so here we have this Nine of Wands fella who has been protecting something, either himself or his family or his um, business or his ideas. And this can be very wearing. Well, it's nice to go home to be able to uh, you know, you have something to fight for. And then at the same, by the same token, you have your family to love you, to restore you. So this idea of feeling restored, here's the star. We see the stars in the skies gleaming, looking up, colorful. The star's about, it's about allowing yourself to heal. And it's about how you think that after challenging times, the star turns up to say, it's okay. You have to trust the universe. The universe knows what it's doing. The stars are guiding you in the right place. And when you do that, you're going to be in a position where you're going to be able to feel optimistic, where you're going to have hope, where you're going to have belief that your family and that your desires and the things that you want out of life are going to turn out okay. And the star really is such a lovely, lovely message about restorative 
and healing energy to allow yourself the space and the time to heal. And you know, you might need your family to help you, uh, allow you to heal as well. With the star, we're looking at, again, the restoring the balance between spiritual side and the physical side and the mental side, everything there that you can do to bring some peace. Uh, again, we often see the, the star after a struggle. And so it's a just a reminder, and it's a mindset to have faith and to have optimism that everything is going to be okay. And at the center of it all is the family. And that means leaning on your family, loving your family, finding the joy and the happiness and the simplicity of being with your family. So let's take a look at what we have for numerology. We have, let's see if I can add this today. We have 17 and 10 is 27. 27 and nine is 36. And 36 reduces to nine, and nine is about nearing completion. It's about spirituality, it can be about I, being, being idealistic, having wisdom. And so let's choose an oracle card, and we will get a sense of an affirmation for the day. So this says self-love. Now's the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures uh, from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. And it's so it's such a lovely compliment to the star, which really is healing oneself and promoting self-love through body, mind, and spirit. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful one. I thank you for your time, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.